Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to go thrifting in Montreal for a good while now and today is finally the day. I have a list of like all the thrift stores that I really want to check out. I haven't been to most of them, I've popped into a few, but now that it's fall, the seasons are changing, it's getting colder, there's some like new pieces I want, kind of some things that I'm looking for. I really want some cool pants. I'm also in the market for like a plain white button up. That should hopefully be pretty easy to find, fingers crossed. But I haven't really thrifted much in Montreal and where I'm from there's only like one thrift store so it'll be really exciting to check out like a bunch of different thrift stores. I'm gonna kind of stay Plateau, Saint Laurent area. I might go up to Mile End. There's this one place that I want to check out but I'm not totally sure yet. It should be a really exciting day. Let's get going! I've officially been to like every single thrift store slash vintage store that I was interested in that was within walking distance of me. I'm making a point to go thrifting, checking out different shops all kind of around the plateau area for the past couple of weeks and I'm finally ready to show you all a haul. I'm really excited about it. It's been so fun because the thrift stores in my hometown are quite limited. This is my first time really going into like tons of different shops and kind of seeing the difference between like a curated vintage store and then like a true thrift store. I did not realize how expensive those like curated fancy vintage stores are. Another cool thing about several of the places that I went to on Saint Laurent that you saw little videos of in the intro was that a lot of them have like an in-house type of brand as well and they sell like kind of accessories, socks, things like that which is awesome because it's always fun to support a small business, especially a local Montreal one. Let's get started. The first thing I have are actually socks. These weren't like secondhand or like vintage socks. They were just like kind of featured at a vintage shop that I was at. I don't really know what that like classifies as but they're very cute socks so I'm going to show you them. I'm pretty sure I picked these up from Citizen Vintage. I wore these yellow ones because so they're a little bit dirty because I took them out of my laundry for this video um, but they're just like really cute bright yellow socks. Very very fun. They go up a little bit higher which is awesome for boots and stuff for the fall. And then the second pair I got are these really cute super cool like blue flower ones. I thought these were so pretty, kind of pop art, 60s vibes, and I thought they were just super fun. I loved the colors. I thought those would be really cute, like poking out of sneakers, poking out of boots. A fun little accent piece to like a simple fall outfit. Next place I went to was Chanel Maison, or Chanel de... I'll put the name on the screen because I'm forgetting it right now. Um, I got two things from there. The first is this very, very basic standard white men's shirt. Now this thrift shop is like a pretty classic thrift shop. I believe this was around four or five dollars um, and I was just looking for a shirt just like this to kind of partake in that super cute trend all over the internet of like a little collared shirt peeking out from underneath like crew necks over little tennis skirts just like with jeans. It's very pretty kind of academia fall vibes. I like it a lot. It has a really nice structured collar so it's perfect for that trend and it's nice and oversized. I believe it's a men's large it doesn't have the tag on it anymore but it's like nice and big i can kind of wear it as a shirt dress but it's like a little bit too small for that but yeah it's a really nice good quality very standard white men's shirt 
Next thing I picked up, unfortunately, it doesn't really work for me, so I'm gonna like donate them or something. I got these like cool black trousers, kind of. They have little pinstripes. You're probably not gonna be able to see, but they have like very, very, very subtle white pinstripes. Um, and then like a cute little buttons around the waistband and stuff. And I thought they'd be high waisted, but they're not. They're very much like low waisted, which is not really what I was looking for. And so because they're low waisted, they're also very long. Because when I was like holding them up, I was holding them up like on my waist. So they just don't really fit how I want them to. I was just kind of looking for some like nice solid trousers to just pair with like sweaters and stuff. Kind of like elevate a look, make it a little more... I don't know, schooly. These were five dollars. Oh, and the store is called Le Magasin de Chanel. I have the tag right here. Yeah, I don't know why. I thought it, I thought it was Maison because there's like a house in the logo, but it's actually Magasin de Chanel. Thrifting without dressing rooms in this new era. Sometimes stuff works, sometimes stuff doesn't. You kind of have to roll with the punches. So. Next thing I got, very excited, I found shoes that I love. These I got from, I think, Annex Vintage in Maya Lent, and I am obsessed with these. I saw these just kind of like sitting at the end of a row. They were in my exact perfect size, a six and a half, which is very rare at thrift stores. I usually just steer clear of shoes because I can never find any in my size that I like. But these are so cute. I love platform shoes. These have a really nice little platform and then a very solid heel. They're great quality. They look almost new. They're in such good condition like the backs right here are only a little bit broken in like they really were not worn much at all the soles are still pretty intact i've worn them a couple times already so like some of this is probably me as well but this was such a good find the kind of that like mary jane kind of like loafer vibe they make an outfit look so stylish i love pairing these with like little plaid skirts kind of schoolgirl esque looks for just a really cute vibe. I posted a picture wearing these on my Instagram and I'm obsessed with these shoes for fall. This is such a wonderful find. The next place I went to, which is where the rest of my stuff is from, is Frit Prix Renaissance. It's in the plateau near Parc La Fontaine. So I Googled it and Frit Prix is kind of like the Quebec equivalent to like a Goodwill. So it's a very classic like thrift store kind of vibe, which is perfect. So I just really wanted to like look through tons of clothes and find really great deals and not like go through like one rack of expensive vintage pieces, which was the vibe of like a lot of the other vintage shops on Saint Laurent, but I loved this place. I had the best success here. The first thing I got is this Renoir book. I love Renoir. The Impressionist paintings, of course, are so beautiful. They're some of my favorites. I mean, they're just some of the most aesthetic works, I feel like. This is such a nice book. The pages are really nice quality. The colors are lovely. It's in excellent condition. It has all of Renoir's paintings, so it's lovely to flip through. I'm in an Impressionism class right now, so it's really fun when a painting of his is mentioned to like go and just look for it in the book. It's just really pretty. To see it in person then it is in french which is fantastic so i can practice a little bit there were a ton more books i probably could have gone through for a lot longer but i was taking a long time and i was with my friends so i was kind of trying to hurry up but they had a really awesome selection i definitely recommend checking it out but onto the clothes the first thing i got was a pair of pants i have not tried these on yet uh, i'll try them on the try on clip but these were only seven dollars um and they're just kind of like blue and white pinstriped kind of trousery pants, very like casual pants. Um, I just really liked the navy color. I don't have any pants like in this print and they were in my size. So I just kind of figured I'd give them a try, give them a whirl. But yeah, um, don't know if they'll fit. I kind of have really bad luck with pants at thrift stores because they never have my size. Pants always fit kind of weird. I usually kind of just stay away from pants in general. Okay, next thing I got is this really cool like blue shirt. This was $6. Um, and I just really liked the color for one. It's like a really nice shade of light blue and it just has like It's the diesel logo. I don't really know like What that's about. Let me google it because I'm a little bit confused. I didn't realize that diesel was a brand I thought it was like a kind of gasoline. Oh, right. They have denim. I'm oh, sorry I completely forgot about the jeans. Oh, it's like an actual genuine fashion brand I had not heard of that brand before um, and I found this cool shirt I don't know I just thought the logo was kind of cool how it was kind of like not symmetrical like that and I just thought it'd be really nice just tucked into jeans I really love long sleeve t-shirts um, the next thing I got is my most favorite thing that I found probably like my best gem besides those shoes and it's this maroon satin slip dress isn't this like stunning like can you believe that I found this at a thrift store for five dollars literally five dollars like 
is this not the prettiest thing? I feel like this is so on trend right now. All these like gorgeous satin slips. This was in the lingerie section. Amazing hack. I'm sure you all know it. But look at the lingerie section if you want slip dresses, slip tanks, anything like that. The color is so perfect for fall. It is a bit big on me. Um, I might try and like take in the armpits a bit. Because I don't mind it fitting baggy everywhere else. But it kind of gapes in my armpits. Which isn't like the best look. But this is going to look so good this fall. I have so many outfits in mind. Slip dresses are such great layering pieces with sweaters, tights boots, turtlenecks, like kind of anything you can imagine. And then the very last thing that I got is this really nice blue sweater. Sweaters are a really great find at thrift stores. If you're not in the market for something specific and you just kind of want like a general sweater, this is, this was $6.50, another great deal. And it's just this really pretty navy color. It kind of has like a mock neck type of vibe and I thought this would just be really cute with a little tennis skirt kind of like over a dress over some jeans like it's a really basic sweater you kind of can't go wrong quick honorable mention one of the vintage stores i think cul-de-sac on saint laurent also had these really cute masks they were in my like last vlog i'll link it below um but i picked up this one and another one nice to support local businesses as always thrifting in montreal such a good experience honestly just like walk up saint laurent pop into any vintage stores that seem interesting and definitely check out the fruit freeze there's like a few kind of scattered about i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time bye